Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are going to solve DSE 2014 question paper that is Delhi School of Economics Entrance Examination of 2014 year and part 1 which consists of questions from 1 till question number 20. So let us begin with our first question that is question number 1. So question number 1 says let a n be equal to 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power n plus 1. So here we have been given an equation a n where the value of n is from 1, 2 and so on. So the sequence a n where n is equal to 1 till infinity is an increasing sequence first increases then decreases is a decreasing sequence first decreases then increases. So we have four options we need to find the condition of this sequence. So first let us write what we have been given here we have a n is equal to 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power n plus 1. So as you can see solving this can be a difficult job. So what we will do is consider its monotonic transformation. So here we have monotonic transformation. So finding the monotonic transformation of this equation we need to take log on both sides. So let us apply log on both sides. So this will be log a n and this will be log of 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power n plus 1. So as it is now you can see in the right hand side it will be here we will have log here as you can see we have log a to the power b form. So as you know a rule which is log a to the power b can be written as b of log a. So this is what we will write here. So let me remove this. Yeah. So here we have b is our n plus 1 that is in the power and the equation is log 1 plus 1 by n. So solving we can further solve this also. This will be n plus 1. This will be log taking LCM. We will get 1 plus n whole divided by n. So we can write this here we will have n plus 1 and we know a general rule another rule of log that is log a by b. So log a by b can be written as log a minus log b. So these are few equations of logarithm you need to know. So this will be n plus 1 here we have log a by b. So this will be log a which is 1 plus n that is in the deno uh, numerator minus log of b that is n in the denominator. So here we have got our equation that is log a n which is equal to n plus 1 in brackets we have log 1 plus n minus log n. So now we need to differentiate this in order to find the condition of this sequence whether increasing decreasing or something else. So let us differentiate here. Here differentiating log a n we will not differentiate rather we will keep it like that only. So this will be d of a n by d n we are differentiating this with respect to n. So this will be equal to here you can see we have u into v format. So we need to consider one first and differentiate the other and vice versa. So let us consider n plus 1 first and differentiate this one logarithm part. So log 1 plus n will be 1 by 1 plus n simple differentiation minus log n will give us 1 by n. So we have differentiated our second part plus now let's consider the first part and differentiate the uh, we will consider this second part and we will differentiate the first part. So as you can see in first part we have n plus 1. So differentiating n plus 1 with respect to n we will simply get a 1. So we are left with only the second part. So our this equation will end with the second part of that equation which is log 1 plus n minus of log n. So basically this is our complete differentiated form. So we can uh, simplify this first here we have only n. So uh, simplifying this we will get minus 1 by n plus our second part is as it is which is log 1 plus n minus of log n. So let us skip this in a bracket you will get to know why. So here we have an equation. Now we need to check what is the condition of this equation with respect to positive or negative. So here you can see we have a negative number which is minus 1 by n but we don't know anything about here. So let me first move on to here. Here we have done the monotonic transformation. 
so our function basically our main function here is fx equal to log x as you can see here our main function is fx equal to log x and you must know about this log x condition that this is a strictly concave function this is a strictly concave function and due to this strictly concave function we have another formula for this or rather say another condition for this that the differentiated format of that equation will always be greater than f of x plus 1 minus of f x so as you can see we have a differentiated format here we have f dash x where our x is n so this and here also we have log ax plus 1 minus log x so basically you can see our differentiated format that is f dash x and we have also the fx plus 1 minus fx so from this you can say that this part that is log 1 plus n minus log n will be less than our d of log a, log a n by dn so as you can see we have a negative number here and even this is less than our uh, left hand side hence the sum of these two will also be less than equal to uh, less than zero so this will be basically a negative number because here we have a negative number and this number is also less than our uh, left hand side hence this will be less than zero so as you know any function less than zero indicates that this is a decreasing function hence this being a decreasing function so our sequence will also be decreasing so option number c being the correct answer of this question so option c is the correct answer to this question so i will like to end this video here you will find solutions to the further questions in our next videos